All right, question of the day, because today's video is about me not trusting DoorDashers with my food. Which restaurant should you definitely not order from if you're, if you're a customer ordering from DoorDash? Which one's the most sketchy and like they don't close their bags and stuff? All right, let's get this day started. Oh yeah, just left the gym. I just got frozen, went into the cryotherapy place, did the maximum coldness, which is negative 175 or 180, I think. That's the coldest that they'll let you do it. And I did it for the maximum temperature. Everyone was like, dude, this guy's crazy. This is like, the, I've done it six times in the last three days, but it's an extra $80 a month. So I'm gonna get my money's worth, that's for sure. And we are just leaving. Uh, probably gonna start the dash from like from the gym from now on instead of at my house because I kind of want to just I, I enjoy this gym so much more it's so nice going to a brand new gym but sitting there waiting for an order to come in and we got one for five dollars for less than one mile it's 0.8 miles it literally is from the side of the parking lot and it delivers to a house that's like just outside of this parking lot so yeah, it's from Panda Express, real quick order. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. I might go back in there and use some of the, there's this like whole recovery room, $80 a month. Probably not worth it, except I'm gonna make it worth it because of all the cryo that I'm gonna do. Honestly, my, my whole body just got frozen. I was standing in a tank for negative, that was negative 180 degrees for three and a half minutes. All of the hair on my body was completely icicled. It was amazing, but definitely very torturous. And I don't think many people would be able to stand in there for that long. But if you want to prove me wrong, come to the UFC gym, we'll see. Um, anyway, so just watched, uh, so if you guys don't know, there's a really big boxing match between, it's basically a circus, uh, Jake Paul, who's a YouTuber, and Ben Askren, who's an Olympic wrestler and uh, MMA champion in multiple organizations. So we got basically a YouTuber fighting a guy who has no striking background but was like a champion in MMA. And I don't think it's going to end up good for Jake Paul, i got to be honest. I feel like he's going to get in there with someone who's like as mentally strong as it possibly gets. You know, wrestling is probably the toughest sport I would say by far the toughest sport but I was also a wrestler so I'm a little bit biased and I'm always gonna side with the wrestler but he's gonna get in there with someone who's mentally strong mentally as strong as it gets and I feel like uh, when Ben doesn't get knocked out and he's just still standing there he's gonna get tired and that's just my opinion on this big fight that's coming up this weekend but anyways so today's topic I'm talking about a lot of people are like, I can't believe you don't trust other DoorDashers with your food the other day. I said that I would not order DoorDash because I don't trust Dashers, and I don't. I really don't, and uh, I gotta be honest. I've met some, I know a lot of DoorDashers, right? I know a lot of people that have done DoorDash and a lot of people that got signed up from DoorDash, and I'm like, I don't trust these guys at all. In fact, I know some of them eat people's food, and I'm like, mm. Yeah, probably wouldn't probably wouldn't uh, trust you guys with my food. So, no offense to everyone out there who got offended that I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna trust you guys with my food. I don't think there's enough qualifications that come with being a DoorDash driver. Personally, I think, I don't know. Like, I almost feel like there should be like a camera inside or something for me to trust someone. I'll order things like pizzas and. Uh, Maybe like Chipotle or like, you know what I wouldn't order is Wingstop because the bags don't stay shut because they're so greasy and the bags always fall apart. I wouldn't order places with french fries. Five Guys doesn't close their bags well enough. Um, what else, what else? Panda Express where I'm ordering from, or, or not ordering from, picking up from, they don't, uh, they don't seal their bags, they just kind of tie them. Uh, there's so many places that don't do a good enough job of uh, concealing their bags to where they can't be opened. So I gotta be honest, that's why I don't trust DoorDashers. All right, just picked up the order. Now we're about to drive like literally 
three miles away. Um, and what, okay, wait, I gotta just, or not justify, uh, I just gotta say, I don't actually know DoorDashers that eat people's food, because I don't really know many DoorDashers personally, but I do know some DoorDashers that comment in my comment section all the time and say they eat people's french fries, so, for you guys out there, you know who you are, I've seen your comments before, saying, which, which restaurants have the best french fries, because you eat them, <laughs> I actually saw that. That was the uh, uh, I was br I was browsing through my uh, comment section earlier to figure out what I wanted to talk about, and I saw someone talking about which French fries they eat that are the most <laughs> or the best ones and easiest to eat, like the customers. And I was like, oh my god, this is why. This is exactly why I don't trust DoorDashers with my food, especially if you're ordering French fries from somewhere, and like. What else? What other places is there that you should definitely not... Oh, you know what? Any place where you have to order your own food, so like Cane's, where someone has to use a red card, Cane's would be a one, or I don't know if like any of the fast food places, like McDonald's does a good job. They like close it up pretty well. Um, I just wouldn't... Yeah, especially back in the day before they had all these like sealed bags. Um, it was just like... I'd be sitting there, I'm like, there's french fries right there, man. If I was like, I, I really don't eat much fast food, I gotta be honest, and if I do, it's like Chipotle or El Pollo Loco. I don't really eat any of the other places, like uh, I don't eat McDonald's, I don't eat Jack in the Box and Carl's Jr. and all those places. If I'm gonna ever eat fast food, it's always gonna be Chipotle. Um, not gonna lie, I'll eat Panda Express every once in a while. Uh, Subway. It's gotta be like one of those healthier places. El Pollo Loco for sure. Just so much grease and sodium, it's just not good for you. Not good for your body to be putting that kind of crappy fuel into your body. But anyways, all right, let's drop off this order real quick. Probably do one more on the way back, make a solid like 15 bucks or so on the way back from the gym. Guys, look at this. That is a very squashed bird. That is a bird that's been squashed about a million times and is still sitting there in front of someone's yard. Ugh, that's disgusting. It's just like literally this ball of feathers that's just like been mushed over and over and someone, how, how do you just leave a bird like disintegrated in front of your house and just pancaked for like that long? Like scoop it up with a shovel or throw it away or bury it or do something jeez that's just like that's sad it's sad and it's like how I just don't understand how someone could just leave a dead animal in front of their house for that long right just dropped up the order from Panda on the way to Home Depot right now because I gotta buy a can of black spray paint getting a really crappy order right now but we are trying, oh man, that's so convenient. That's right next to Home Depot and it's delivering not too far away, but it's only $3, so we don't take orders that only pay $3. Trying to get, I mean, if I only took $3 orders, I'd have to make like, I'd have to do like, how many orders would that be? 30, 30 orders to make a decent day of like work. It's kind of pathetic how people don't like tip their dashers, but anyways. All right, dropped off one order, made five bucks so far. Five bucks is kind of crappy though, I gotta be honest, but it was only 0.8 miles or so, so not that big of a deal, I guess. While I'm sitting here watching Ben hit some mitts, man, I really hope Ben kicks Jake's ass. I like Logan Paul, I really hate Jake Paul. He's just, I don't know. I don't even understand why he has any sort of popularity. Uh, and then we're getting an order from Wendy's for $3.25, another BS order. Come on, guys, what's going on here? Not gonna lie, this is an order that I will take, $4, because it's from Twin Peaks, and you know what that means. Gonna see some titties. <laughs> I'm actually gonna accept that one, because uh, I think it'll be entertaining, at least for the vlog. It only pays $4, which is some BS, but whatever it'll be entertaining for the vlog or it'll at least be entertaining for me that's for sure anyway so i'm gonna run into home depot real quick grab a black can of spray paint and then we'll handle this order. all right we got the order 
got, uh, sorry, we didn't get the order. We got the spray paint. I'm trying to finish my freaking, uh, I don't know what you call it, furniture that I started painting like four days ago and I still haven't finished it because my brush paints, my brush painting sucks. Anyways, we also got another order from, uh, um, from Twin Peaks. So, got two orders and the second one's $5.35 for an extra two miles and it's completely on the way back to my house. So, it's pretty good, you know, whatever. I've never even done an order from Twin Peaks. In fact, I probably would have, uh, had I known this, I would have probably made this whole video about this. Anyways, I don't know. Could be interesting, catchy title. You guys only click on the catchy titles, you know. I notice anytime there's no drama involved in my titles and like, it's for some odd reason. Anytime it seems like I'm complaining in a title or thumbnail or something, you guys click on it more. What's up with that? What's up with anytime I have, I, I, I made a video about best DoorDash customer ever. It's a DoorDash customer that leaves out like water and like snacks and stuff. No one clicked on it. You guys do not care. You guys only click on the videos that have some kind of drama in it. What's up with that? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyways, I guess uh, drama sells, you know. It's like a reality TV show I'm running in my car, I guess. Just kidding, guys. But seriously, though, why you guys only click on the negative, negative sounding videos? None of my videos are actually like complaining or drama or anything. But I don't know. What's up with that? What's up with that? Why can't I just make positive videos and everyone's like, Oh, this looks like a very positive video today. I'm gonna watch Tanner's positive video about how good customers can be. No, but you know what you guys did click on? Was the angry customer yells at me video. There was so many, like literally eight times as many views. That video got 1,600 views in a day. My, my video about people, be the best customers ever, got 200 views in a day. What's going on, guys? What's up with that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll leave you guys with that. I'll be right back. I'm going to go pick up, and uh, maybe I'll spend a little bit extra time. Hopefully, this order takes a while so I can just hang out in Twin Peaks. Just kidding. I've only been there one time in my life, and it was only because I was dating this girl that worked there at one time when I first moved to Las Vegas, and I had no idea what Twin Peaks was. I actually legitimately thought Twin Peaks was a mountain climbing uh, restaurant. I did not even like put two and two together until I realized and I saw what she was wearing. I was like, oh, 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 it's it's like Hooters. Got it. Okay. All right, we're pulling up to uh, TD Mountains. Be right back. Got the order. Not gonna lie. That place actually has a really cool vibe inside of it. Um, aside from girls walking around pretty much half naked, I it's like a log cabin kind of feel, and I obviously, if you don't know, I live in a log cabin right now. Um, it's actually really cool vibes, you know? Uh, I've always thought about when I want, like, if later in life I decide that I want to open up a restaurant or something, like, how do you create the ultimate, like, environment inside? And of course, Half Naked Girls is a great one, but the environment of what, like, everything looks like and stuff, it's also a huge factor. That's why I kind of like BJ's a lot. BJ's has like consistently a pretty nice, uh, oh, I should have asked, I wonder if they play the UFC inside of the Twin Peaks places because that might be a good place to go to watch the UFCs. But actually, the UFC gym that I just started going to plays the pay-per-view. Oh my God, this guy in front of me, like a retard just gets in the left lane while it's a green and then just stops. Man, people are such retarded drivers. All right, drive in. Anyways, I'm a little distracted right now. Got about that far to drive. It's about like 0.9 miles or so. So be right back. All right, one order down. Got another one to go. L delivers right by my house actually. You know what I don't get? I feel like Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Twin Peaks has really good food. I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually ate there. I went there for drinks one time, but wouldn't the whole point of ordering from Twin Peaks be to go for the environment of the restaurant? 
I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. Just saying. I don't think I would order from DoorDash from Twin Peaks. I think I would probably go there if I was ever going to order from Twin Peaks. Right. And, oh, we got a crappy order. $12.25 for uh, 13.8 miles going the exact opposite direction that we are going, which is back to my house. So we are obviously going to decline that one. And we're going to wrap up today's video right there. Probably the... I've, I'd never take orders that are under $6, and I only took orders that were under $6 today, so. But, whatever, we made $15.25, and we got another order from Chipotle, seven miles for $7, not taking it. Anyways, we made $15.25 for three orders today. Horrible, but whatever. It was interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy these videos at all, please consider smashing the like button for me. Helps out my YouTube channel. And also, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also, one last thing. If you guys haven't yet, check out my footwear company at offaxisacrobatics.com. Use the discount code, which is available for the next two weeks. It is Tanner's YouTube. T-A-N-N-E-R-S Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. And that's going to get you a 65% off. I'm just doing this quick sale for you guys because I know a lot of people want to try out the shoes and hopefully I can get you guys hooked on some of these barefoot shoes because barefoot, it's it's where it's at. Trust me, your feet are going to change. Your feet are going to feel much better when you start wearing barefoot shoes every single day. And uh, we just got some stylish, the new shoes called the Ninjas. I think they're stylish. I wear them every day. They're super comfy. Most people have said that they're the best wrestling shoes they've ever worn. You don't have to use them for wrestling. I wear them everywhere I go. So, anyways, with that being said, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace, guys.